It's weird tracking those blazing temps for the first half of our work week and start of the new school week right. with the hottest days today and tomorrow. At least that's what they're expecting. Uh, the heat advisory uh, predicted to kick in uh, tomorrow morning. Some cities are going to see temperatures climb over 100 degrees. That's hot. Crown Forest Teresa Stasio live tonight in Walnut Creek where people are still out and about despite this little heat wave. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Grant and Vicki. I'm not going to say that it's toasty. I'm just going to say that straight up it's hot. Now, according to my watch, it is about 100 degrees out here. When we first got out here, I wasn't sure if we were going to find anybody to be out here, but guess what? A lot of people out here. Take a look and you can see for yourself. This is um, some video that I took of the cross country team that was out here practicing. And then I looked over here in Wanna Creek at Heather Farm, and there were a lot of people playing tennis. The one person I spoke with said that it is even 10 to 20 degrees hotter out there as they play tennis. I asked everyone why they decided to come out here, especially because we know that health officials all say that when we have these hot days to make sure that you take certain precautions, make sure that you are hydrating, make sure that you have sunscreen that can actually lower your body temperature. They say also make sure you wear protective clothing. So when I talk to people about why they chose to be out here, here's what they had to say. We're young. We come out here every week. I think we're used to it. This actually doesn't feel that bad to us, but uh, we just make sure we hydrate. So big water and whatever you can add to that water uh, to get the electrolytes, all that kind of stuff. That's, and what, you, that's what you need. And you wouldn't miss it because, especially because it's your birthday. Too. This is a beautiful day. Yeah, you gotta be out here. It's, it's pretty it's hot. So hot. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty like, hot. Like I was right here, I almost passed out. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Me too. Drink your water. Yeah. Because yeah, that's water. very healthy. Half your body weight. Thank you. Okay, and we also want to share this. The public health officials out here in Contra Costa County have th opened three cooling centers, one in Brentwood, one in Martinez, one in Richmond. We have you covered. We put all of that information on cronfor.com so that you can get the information. It is also really important on these hot days to make sure that you reach out to those people who ha may have some compromised health situations. Reach out to them. Make sure that they're okay. Make sure that they are hydrated or going to one of those cooling centers. Centers. Again, we've got you covered. We put all that information on cron4.com. We're going to be out here a little bit more. There's a lot of people over at the swim center, which I'd imagine that's the best way to beat the heat. But there's also a lot of kids playing on the play structures. I'm not sure how they're out there. But as you said, Grant, it's toasty and it's going to be even toastier as we go into these next couple of days. So caution and have some fun exercising, right? Back to you guys.